nifty. I like how they did the chairs. I got. What? Don't mind my dirty mirror. Pretty. This is so comfy. It's comfy. 175. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a few errands to run and I thought I would bring you guys along with me. I need to run by Walmart, Lowe's possibly if I have time. Um, but I also wanted to hit a few thrift stores and look at this, look at this girl. Y'all, she will find a way, won't you? <laughs> I think she just likes to balance. Don't lean, I'm not holding you. She's like kind of leaning towards me. Don't lean, you're gonna fall. You are so stinking cute, I cannot. Oh my goodness. But anyway, we're gonna go and get a few things that we need to get, and I thought I would bring you with me. So, let's go to the store. Okay, first stop is going to be Walmart. Um, we're gonna go, I have a quick exchange to make, and then I wanna hit the, um, garden section really quick to see if they have anything on clearance because I'm gonna be doing a makeover at my brother's house on their back porch. So I'm really excited about that to share it with you all. Um, so I'm just gonna take a look, see if I can find anything good. If I do, I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. I'm kind of gathering things for a few projects I have planned. Plus, the other day, um, my husband and I and the kids were riding around the neighborhood and someone threw out a good sink. <laughs> so I grabbed it for the um, uh, what's it called? The, the house, the ranch up there at the ranch house. So I'm going to be doing a makeover in that kitchen and I found a new, well, new to me sink. So that was awesome. I'll show that to you guys in just a minute whenever we get back. But yeah, I'm just kind of out looking for a few things for these upcoming projects. And I thought if I do find some stuff, I'll give you like a haul and kind of tell you what I plan on doing with these items for the future. So <laughs> we'll see, but let's go ahead and go and see what we can find. Okay, so we just arrived at our first store. We're at the Salvation Army. We're just gonna take a look really quick. Um, last time I came here, everything was like super overpriced, like extremely, extremely overpriced. So I'm curious to see what they have um, as far as pricing goes. We'll just, we'll take a look and see. And I'll, I'll show you what they got. Yeah. yeah. This is pretty neat. That could be turned into something awesome. Whoa. 125. Yeah. This is neat. It's like a little wine thing. I see, buddy. Okay. Alright, slow down, slow down. Mm -hmm. Go slow so you don't run into anything, okay? Yeah. Oh, I like the blue. Look at this. Blue couch and it's nice. Let's see how much it is. $4.25. Hold on one second, buddy. $15. That's $40. How cool is this? This is a nice big desk. If we had like an office Why space, that's a um, that's glass, baby. Oh, this is beautiful. Wow. My dad, that would be where we all all play like toys. Right. <laughs> yeah, but not like big toys. Oh, I like this lamp. This is neat. Wow. It's huge. Mom, put that big one. <clears throat> so this would be a lamp that I would definitely buy and like refinish. Maybe do like a white or even just like kind of get rid of the two-tone color. It'd be really cool. Cute little pink chair. No, what's that boots do? Hmm? What's that boots do? I don't know. Oh, stay right there, buddy. 175, that's too much. I see. I like the color. Oh, 
Okay, so I just so happen to realize that they have a matching set of lamps. Oops. They have a matching set. These look really old, though. I'm scared to buy those. I see it, buddy. I see it. So there's um, one right there, and then here's the other one. I kind of want to plug it in and see if it works. Because for a matching set... It's not a bad price. Check these out. Someone painted these. It looks like. These are pretty cool. They're huge though. Like super big. I mean, it's like up to my waist. All right, so I found these two lamps instead. This one is actually $10. They have two different stickers on it. And this one is $12.99, I believe. Yep. So. I like the shape better of these. They're two different ones, but you can't really tell once the lampshade is on. <laughs> Caden's dancing in the mirror. Yeah, um, I saw you dancing. You're silly. I got it. Okay. Oh, this is pretty neat. What is this? Look at this couch. Oh, check it out. This, this is pretty cool. Oh, it's an old like sewing machine, I believe. It is. How neat. I see it, baby. That's pretty cool. I love stuff like this. $20. Oh, that's fake. <laughs> they even have sinks. $25. This is a big bowl. But this is a huge bowl, I see. Mm hmm. This is the prettiest thing, but not worth $7. Yeah, this is pretty cute. I love this. Gosh, why is it so much money? Hmm. That is super cute. <laughs> is it cute? <laughs> it is. Okay, come this way. Let's go this way. You're going to push it? Okay, we're going to go through this aisle right here. Come on, you can do it. Just go slow. You're doing great. Go slow. Super slow. Yep. <laughs> Don't put that on your head, baby. Come on. Fifteen dollars. Oh, it's all damaged. I don't want to buy around the store and the book there would then be but only you and daddy and Maya. Okay, this is pretty nifty. Okay, so this thing is pretty cool. It's $45. I think this is so nice. This would be so cool in someone's house. I like that style. I wish I had a place to put it because I would totally buy it. Oops, ow, jeez, my arm. <laughs> I whacked my arm. Did you see me? Yes. I oh, know. You missed it. I'm already happy. Oh, look at this blue table. How cool is that? Yeah, we'll just leave our buggy right there and we'll look around. How nifty. That is super nifty. I like how they did the chairs. My dad is super nifty. Nifty. <laughs> it's a new word. Look how cool. Oh, my dad is I like how they did that. I see, buddy. Oh, my dad is 
Yeah? Look at that. Ooh, look how pretty. Well, this is so comfy. It's comfy? Yeah. 175. Mom, this is a good one. Ooh. Mom, that's neat. Get down so you don't fall, buddy. Oh my goodness. No oh, way. This? this is like, I think a weight loss thing. You put this on your butt and like, or like around your back and oh, it mom, jiggles. Mom, mom, do it. <laughs> no, we cannot do that. What? Come on, baby, because it's really old. Aww. It's old. It looks like an antique. Yeah. Come on. I got it. I got it. Oh my gosh, you guys. This uh, dresser Can has been here forever. Up? I know. Leave it there. This dresser is still here. Same price. Do y'all remember that last time I was here? Oh, I love this. That's so pretty. Okay, just got out of the Salvation Army. I am hot and sweaty. I wore a long sleeve shirt and it went from being nice and cool to being like 100 degrees very quickly. Um, but I got two lamps. I got a few other things I'll share with you as soon as I get home. I'll share like a full haul of all the things that I find today. But I'm going to run to one other thrift store since we're like on the side of town. There's a Goodwill. And sometimes they have good stuff. Sometimes it's like hit or miss there in my opinion. Um, I like to find thrifted items. And it seems like lately the Goodwills are going more with like vendor selling. So they're starting to get like a lot of vendors selling their items there. Which is fine. But you know when you go thrift store shopping you want to find used like older things. So anyway. Um, I'll share with you what I got whenever I get home. I ended up grabbing a coffee before we stopped here and I left it in the car because I didn't want to have to tote it around and now it's all melted. So I'm about to drink my, it's melted. <laughs> so I'm gonna drink that watered down coffee and head to one more store and then we're gonna head to Lowe's. I have to grab a few things for um, tomorrow's project. <sighs> Come right here, baby. And then they hated. And then they spaced out. Mm. Okay, so I have a, another quick little update for you. We went out to Burger King with my husband. We just met up for lunch together. Um, ate lunch, and now I'm back at Walmart again because I forgot to get spray paint for my daughter's bedroom. I was gonna spray paint her nightstands the same color that I spray painted the dresser. I think it's gonna look so beautiful, like all matching. So I'm gonna quickly grab the spray paint and if their paint counter is working, I'm just gonna get a quick gallon of paint from here. I'm just gonna do like a baby pink, I think, or white. What should I do? <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, so we are back now from the thrift store and Walmart too, we had to go by Walmart. And I wanted to share with you the stuff that I got. So, I found some really good deals. I have a bag right now that's full of Pepsi. I spilt it all in my car. Hold on. Let me get prepared. I'm not prepared. And I'm hot. I need to go change a shirt. But I actually got a few tops today. Um, these were like quick random finds. But I, you literally could not beat the prices. That's how cheap they were. And I love thrift store shopping, especially for clothing because y'all know prices are going up. And if you can save money anywhere, clothing is one of them in my opinion. So I- Okay, so this is the first shirt. I decided to do this as a try on just so you could get a better look at the clothes. All right, so I wanted to show you a few of the tops that I got. What? Don't mind my dirty mirror. I need to clean it. But this is one of them. This one, ouch, you just scratched my leg. You scratched my leg. Gotta go potty. Okay, let's go. Let's go inside. Okay, so here is one of the shirts, like I was saying. It's like this light 
um, blue. It, it's a peplum top, I think is what you call them. So it's like super flowy, which is nice, especially on those times where you don't want like a super tight fitted shirt. I'll have to look at the brand um, to tell you guys, but very, very pretty. And I would probably style it just like this with like this white purse, just some cheap sandals <laughs> these are from family dollar by the way and they are so cute and they're sparkly it's hard to tell in here but they have black sparkles on them they were only five dollars and let me tell you something they are the most comfortable shoes i've ever owned ever sandals so highly highly recommend checking your family dollar for those i got white black and they have a tan color i believe too but anyway yeah that's the shirt that's the first one and it was only a dollar and the brand is emory park Okay, next up, we have another light blue top. This one is a little bit more, like has a little bit more white in it than the other one, but I would definitely tuck this in. I like my shirts tucked in better. It just, I feel like it instantly makes me look a little slimmer. Um, I love the shape, the color. So pretty, very flowy, and feels super nice quality. Um, this one was also a dollar. All of the shirts that I got, I believe, were a dollar a piece. They were all on sale, so great deal. And this came from the, what's the name of that thrift store? Um, Meals on Wheels. They would have like this whole thing going on right now. It's huge sale, so definitely check your local thrift stores right now. I think a lot of them are doing sales to kind of earn money for like charity, and I love love supporting stuff like that. So yeah, this was also a great find. All right, and this one was a Liz Claiborne size small. Okay, last up, we have a green tank top. So this is a more of a crop top shirt, but because my torso is so short, it actually fits like a normal tank top, just not as long. Um, and I really like it. It's great quality. I cannot believe that I found so many clothes for only a dollar at that store. Like, I want to go back and go shopping some more because I just, I always need tank tops in the summer and just light flowy shirts in like the spring. And it's always nice to get a few, you know, new tops and stuff. But yeah, really like this one too. So I've never heard of this brand, but it's from Wild Fable. Um, and I, I really like how the tank top has like this little ridge around the front. Just adds like a really pretty detail. So that was the last shirt. Okay, go look at Zoe. <laughs> She's so cute. Um, okay, I put my shirt back on so I could finish the rest of the haul. But really quick, for those of you who noticed, I did get a new tattoo and I will show it as soon as it's healed. Right now it has like a clear bandage on it and it looks horrible absolutely horrible so as soon as that bandage comes off i will not be wearing long sleeves anymore but right now i just don't want anyone to see it because it looks ugh, ugh. i don't even ugh. i don't even like looking at it it freaks me out when i look at it so yeah i've been trying to like slowly peel it off because i don't like the way the bandage feels um i've i've gotten plenty of tattoos in my time a lot of you probably have as well and they never covered those tattoos so like it's weird to me <sighs> this one's covered. I don't know. It's just, it's, I'm not a fan, but it'll heal and it's really pretty. It's just a rose tattoo. Next up, um, I got this body glove little water shirt for my son, or this will fit my daughter. So I'm going to try it on Caden. If it doesn't fit him, I'll put it on Amaya. She'll be able to wear it too. These are just great for the summertime, and it was only $2. Looks brand new. Um, and it's like that neutral color, so it'll go with pretty much any bathing suit he has. These are essential here in Florida. Absolutely essential if you go to the beach or like play outside a lot with your kids, get them some UV ray shirts because it's very important to protect their little bodies. My kids both are on the more pale side, so they get burnt pretty easy. They do tan well, but I also don't want them to get a lot of sun damage, of course. So that helps tremendously. Next up, I got this basket from Goodwill. It's a large basket. This is actually perfect to fit right next to the other basket I have by the back door, um, or I can use it for something else. I just, you couldn't beat it for $2. Two, I think it was $2. $2.98, so $3 actually. But still, awesome deal for a basket. Absolutely love this, and it's great quality. Next, I found this dollar box. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. 
but I have a thing for boxes. <laughs> I don't know why, but like wooden boxes like this, I just really love them. And I don't know, they're just like staple for like little decor. I mean, I could put this on like a coffee table and like style it with a few things. And it's just like a cute little box. And it was only a dollar. I think it was a dollar. Yeah, it was only one dollar. So, I mean, why not? <laughs> I thought it was super cute. So I got that and Kaden picked out like this random book he wanted. So I let him get that, it was 10 cent. And I got a glass dish. So this is kind of random, but I don't have any dishes like this. And this was on sale for $2.50. Um, so I grabbed it because I don't have any dishes like that. And it'll be nice to have to like bake my casserole in. And I'm, I just, it makes me wonder, cause like I love buying secondhand stuff. Cause do you ever like wonder like what people cooked you know what i'm saying like i bet this dish was used so much by somebody and or maybe not maybe that's why they donated it i don't know i just think of that kind of stuff when i buy things at thrift stores so happy i found that oh i found these really pretty earrings these are such great quality too hold on let me show you they're like little gold like flowers i thought they were so pretty and i get a lot of my earrings from the thrift store like look how pretty those are I can't wait to wear those I just gotta clean them really good oh and then I got two lamps I got this big one this one was $12.99 and I got hold on let me grab it oh this one's heavier jeez I got this one for 10 so I they're not matching I they're not like identical hold on let me see if I can hold both of them up they're not identical but they're the same height Whew, they're heavy so what I'm gonna do is paint them the same color and I'm actually gonna use those in my daughter's room on either side of her bed so that way they're taller they're kind of similar in shape and size so you won't notice as much that they're not matching once they're painted the same color so I got that what else did I grab um so that was it for my clothes i got a lot of paint because i have a lot of projects coming up i got the pink that rustic pink let me show you this one the rustic um matte rustic pink yeah ultra matte rustic pink is what it's called that's what i just painted my daughter's dresser i'll link that video below if you missed it um i did it this pink color and then i did gold handles and it turned out absolutely beautiful and that's what kind of inspired me to go ahead and do a little makeover in her room so I got more of those for her nightstands and then I found two of these little things um it looks like they're supposed to hang like this but I thought it would be super cute just to clip off the little hook that's right here on both of these and just use them as decor so like a little tea light candle can go in there or I could hang them I don't know I'll figure it out heck oh I just broke it just broke it right as I said that I, I could hang it I could even put like a little plant in here like a little succulent or something would be that would be so cute like a little succulent in here oh my gosh I shouldn't have broke it because how cute would it be to hang these up in the corner of her room with like a little bit of like a succulent coming out of it like a little plant oh, I broke it <laughs> I need to fix it but I mean I could really just tie a, a string through there and it would still hang okay yeah super cute um and that was it like i said i got a lot of spray paint got black white a drop cloth paint brush sanding um blocks i got all kinds of stuff i got lots of projects coming up and i'm so excited i've been missing this type of stuff so bad you guys like i'm happy to to be back to doing these types of projects um this is like what I love to do. So I cannot wait. Tomorrow is a fun day. I'm gonna be going over to my sister-in-law's house and my brother, and I'm gonna be doing their patio makeovers. They actually have a porch. They have a screened in room, and um, they want a makeover done on that. So we're trying to like do it on an extreme budget, but still make like a big impact on the space. And I think it's gonna turn out absolutely stunning, and I can't wait to share that with you because, you know, I feel like having an outdoor living space is just as important as taking care of the inside living space especially if you live in like a climate like we do where we're outside a lot like here in florida we are 
always outside, especially in the summer. The kids are playing in the sprinkler, in the pool, and just having a lot of fun. And we spend a lot of time over there too. So um, I'm out of breath. <laughs> it's gonna be nice to spend some days over there on their like a really cute patio. So I can't wait to share that with you guys. Like I was saying, I got a lot of stuff, um, like paint and just like, uh, like supplies to work on some projects that I have coming up. I wanted to go ahead and grab a lot of it and just have it on hand because sometimes like, I don't know how y'all do things, but I can't really, I can try to plan out my day ahead of time, but it just never goes as planned. So I like to just have this stuff so that way when I have a moment to work on, like let's say painting the nightstands or painting the lamps, I wanna be able to just grab the painting supplies and get it done versus like having to go to the store and grab it and then come home and do it. It's just a lot easier if you already have it on hand. Um, so I went ahead and stocked up on paints and things that I'll need for the next few weeks and um yeah i'm so excited tomorrow is actually going to be a really fun day um well probably not fun it's going to be a lot of work but we're going over to my brother and sister-in-law's house to start on their porch makeover so that will be a lot of fun and i can't wait to share that with you guys because um i think it'll be a pretty big transformation and i know that they're gonna love it because they spend a lot of time on their porch heck even when i go over there we spend almost the whole time we're there out on their porch and um It'll be nice to give them like a nice porch refresh and make it all pretty and clean and you know just decorated really nice so i can't wait to share that and work on that for them but yeah um i actually i'm gonna pick up my daughter from school then we're gonna run to aldi and i'm gonna grab together like a really inexpensive dinner i need all right so it's been a few hours i ended up running to the grocery store and i was just gonna get like a dinner to cook for tonight but then my husband was like, why don't you just go ahead and get grocery shopping done for the week? And I was like, yes, please, let me just go get it done by myself. And it worked out and I was able to get everything we needed. This was a lot more than what we would typically buy in one week. I usually, you know, spend around maybe max $200. This ended up being $275, but we got snacks, breakfast, dinners, um, actually a lot of snack foods because I was hungry and... <laughs> Don't ever go to the store when you're hungry. I'm starving. So I'm gonna get through this grocery haul really quick. I'm gonna film this um, kind of as like an overview and talk to you guys about what I'm gonna be making. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, so we're actually gonna start with dinners first. So I got, um, we're gonna do like a sausage and rice with lima beans, ribs, um, pork chops, two separate ways because there was enough in this package right here for two separate dinners. Um, I also bought some country fried steaks just as a, qu a quick, easy dinner. We have hot dogs, we're going to probably do like chili dogs one night, and then pizza, and we are going to be doing breakfast for dinner, so that's why I got the bacon. So, of course, with every grocery haul, there's always like the random things that we need in between, but I had to grab lots of lunches. So, for lunches, we're going to be doing ham and roast beef sandwiches, salads, lots of Lunchables, just for quick, easy meals this week, because we are going to be busy. I got apples, strawberries, um... I was showing you guys the lima beans right here that I plan on using for that dinner. Um, but also along with lunch, we're going to be doing summer sausage. And then I bought these like quick snack packs just for the kids to share. And I thought they would like those along with lots of ramen noodles because not only do my kids like them, my husband loves them too. And of course some chicken tenders. And I had a huge sweet tooth so I ended up getting some cookie dough and some brownies. <laughs> I was definitely hungry for this meal. Uh, I mean, I'm hungry for this meal. I was hungry when I went shopping. Um, then we got lots of bread, snacks, more snacks. Um, these are all the foods back here in the back that we need to eat up. Extra syrup, and then this is like all of our breakfast food. So eggs, pancakes, biscuits, um, lots of cereal and waffles, and, you know, the basics like milk and butter and stuff. All right, so I came out to my shed so that way I could give you um, like a little bit of an outro, I guess. It is so loud in my house. It's hard to have like some quiet time. Every time I start filming, someone's like, hey, mom. <laughs> so I am hiding out in the shed. Um, this is like my home away from home. But anyway, I wanted to thank you guys for watching. And before I let you go, I did want to insert my meal plan. So I'm going to just leave it on the next slide so you can just take a screenshot of it. I'll put it at the very end of the video. That way you can pause it and um, see what our meals are. I was putting them in the description box, but I sometimes I forget and ugh, I'm like, 
my brain I know I'm horrible <laughs> so it's easier if I can remember to leave like a screenshot in the but because I'm telling myself to you know what I mean because usually when I upload videos I don't do the description box till like days later and then I'll forget to add the meal plan or whatever so I'm gonna go ahead and just insert the picture of it so you can take a screenshot but yeah thank you all for watching and hanging out with me today I hope you enjoyed um just more of like a casual style video I will be working on my brother's porch tomorrow and hopefully I can knock that project out pretty quick because I will you know obviously be traveling over there to do the project so my plan is to knock it out in just a couple days time of course we'll have to order like the patio set and everything and wait for that to come in but it shouldn't take me too long to get that project done tomorrow a lot of the plan is to do all the cleanup um, so I'll probably film it as two parts I think I might do it um, yeah I might film it as two parts I don't know I'll see let me know do y'all care if I do that like if I do it like as a vlog tomorrow and like show just the cleanup painting getting things ready and then do the final full reveal on the following week because I won't get the patio set in time um, so that's an option so that way you'll at least see the process instead of having to wait like a whole two weeks to see the video so that might work out better to split it up but anyway that's besides the point I'm rambling <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed watching. Thank you all for being here. Um, please don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notifications, and let me know what y'all's plans are for this Easter weekend down in the comments below. Um, I hope all of you have an amazing day. And if I don't see you again before Easter, happy Easter. Be safe. Have a great time with your family. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, y'all.